This morning, we're hearing from Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito. This is for the first time since writing that reversal of Roe v. Wade. Speaking in Rome, the conservative justice mocked foreign leaders who criticized the opinion. I had the honor this term of writing, I think, the only Supreme Court decision in the history of that institution that has been lambasted by a whole string of foreign leaders. <laughs> One of these was uh, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, but he paid the price. <laughs> what really wounded me was when the Duke of Sussex addressed the <laughs> United Nations and seemed to compare the decision whose name may not be spoken with the Russian attack on Ukraine. Now, Alito's speech was focused on protecting religious liberty. That was the overall theme. Uh, CNN's Joan Biskupic is joining me now. A lot of sarcasm there, Joan. It was so classic Samuel Alito, Brianna. Uh, you know, he, he exudes a sense of aggr aggrievement all the time, even as he is winning. He had the majority in the decision that he, he uh, said, uh, that whose name cannot be said, and that's the Dobbs ruling, where the justices rolled back a half century of reproductive rights, uh, women's privacy rights in America. And he also has been in the majority uh, plowing ahead on all sorts of religious conservatism, but yet he cannot help but engage in sarcasm. That's, that's his way. There have been times when the court didn't go as fast or as far as Justice Alito wanted it to go, and he exuded this you know, sense of persecution in various dissents or concurrences. But now the, break, the brakes are off. And he is winning. He held on to his majority, a narrow five-justice majority, to reverse Roe v. Wade from 1973. And then also this session, the uh, conservative majority allowed more prayer in public places, such as, you know, prayer on a football field, and also uh, more government funding of religion. So Samuel Alito is winning, despite how he sounds. So curious to know how the Chief Justice <laughs> would feel about this. Joan Biskupic, uh, yes. always great to have you. Thank you. Thank you.